<laughs> yep, you gotta share the road with the turtles around here. So Big Lagoon State Park. This is one state park that I have been to many times. I have camped here several times. We've had some family gatherings here. We've had some reunions here. And uh, Abby and I is actually, we've come here and uh, did the hike trail one yes, time. Yes, we that have. Was a, it was wonderful. That was a but, few years ago. But I have never camped here. So. Yep. This is our first time camping here together. And because we're at the beach, we're going to cook a bunch of seafood. That's right. we got seafood for the <laughs> camp, for the camp cooking. All right. So this way to the campground. Day use areas are, are ahead. And I don't even remember what our campsite looks like. We booked this in January. Oh, yeah. This is one of those uh, parks that you have to book a year in advance almost. Yep. So. Yep. And I do know that none of the sites have full hookups, but they do have power and water. And most of the sites are a little on the smaller side here. I can't remember if there's any large sites. So they have a dump station here that everybody gets to use when they leave. But it is, it, I remember it being a nice campground though. Has a little bit of a Florida beachy, woodsy feel. Yes, it does. I think this is a, uh, a good time to do a little time lapse. <laughs> All right. Don't you think? We'll do a time lapse then. He always has me get out, but I never help him ever because he always just nails it. Yep, he's nailing it. All right, we have our camp set up here at Big Lagoon State Park. We brought our new little uh, screen tent for Abby. Thanks, Since, babe. Yep, I know she's gonna appreciate that because we're in the middle of the summer, there's a lot of bugs, and it's extremely hot. I think I saw that it's gonna be 95 tomorrow and 97 on Sunday. Well, it's 101 right now. With a high heat index and plenty of humidity to go around too. Well, we got our fan yep, and we got so some shade. So we got our fan going there and we're all set up. I thought I would give you guys just a quick little walk around. So I ended up setting it up very similar to the way we did in Blackwater River State Park because we ended up having, we have the room here, as you can see, this site worked out really good for me. Yeah. A lot of sites in here are small, so they're not all, um, they're not all big enough to fit our rig or even fifth wheels. So you got to kind of know what sites uh, to pick but you know I went on the website and all the ones that were available I usually go and click every single one and look at the photos and read the description of what they give you to try to figure out what is the best site available for our camper here so I'm gonna give them a little walk around Please just so, do. so you guys can see our site here we'll come back out here to the road all right this is gonna be looking west it's about 5.40 in the afternoon. And there's a look down towards the east. You guys will probably hear the bugs in the trees. It's, uh, it sounds like Florida and it looks like Florida out here. It's beautiful. I love this site. It ended up being a nice roomy site, 50 amp hookup with water. There's no sewage hookups at any site here at Big Lagoon. 
So we moved the picnic table under here. We've got our gas stove and our metal camp stove table here underneath the awning, just in case we do get some rain, because there's actually a thunderstorm back I can there. Hear it. We can hear it. Yeah. All right. We've got our lantern going with our uh, citronelle, and we've got the pit barrel back here set up. And you can see you've got more space back here as well. I These, can't believe how big this site is. I'm yeah, the site is, is amazing. These poles they've got set here. And I, and I remember in the past being in here that there's people that use these to set up their uh, hammocks, hammocks yeah. set up their hammocks. And, and um, they, some people have some kind of tent system that they, that they put in here. I've seen that before. So that's what they use those for, for this particular site. And, and look, I mean, Honestly, there's, nobody, feel, there's it, nobody right next to us. It feels like we're the only people here. I mean, yeah. I can't, I'm looking out and I can't see anyone else and it's nice. Well, we, when you come back here, you can see a little bit of our neighbors there on that side, but I mean, look, look, look at our site though. We have this space here and you have a buffer between the next site that's over there. It's wonderful. Yeah. So anyway, that's just a quick little uh, rundown of our particular campsite here at Big Lagoon. I do love this thing. Abby loves her, her little screen room and I knew that she would want it out here. That's why I brought it. But because we had set it up before, we actually went through this pretty quick. I think we had this up in maybe 10. We did. Between it, 10 and 15 minutes, we it was had this a lot set up and it was ready to go. Easier this time. A we lot knew, easier. We knew what to do this time. Yeah. I mean, that's what the problem was. The first time we had no clue, but we figured it out. I got, I've got the straps there. Same thing as I did before. Four straps just so that it doesn't get blown away if we get a uh, thunderstorm roll through. But I'm going to get the uh, pit barrel fighter up here pretty soon. And what we did earlier, uh, we went to Joe Patty's and we knew that we wanted to do seafood. It was just, it's just going to be a weekend. So we got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, today we're going to do crab legs. Tomorrow I would like to do... Snapper. Red snapper. Yeah. Abby called it. So we're going to do red snapper tomorrow grilled in the pit barrel. And we're also going to do smoked shrimp in the pit barrel as well. It's going to be like a butter garlic smoked shrimp. And then we're going to do hamburgers for lunch one day and hot dogs, chili dogs for lunch another day. Yeah, chili dogs. I'm going to make some uh, some homemade hot dog chili to go with our chili dogs. So we're we're just going to we're just going to chill out here. We're going to cook some good food, and we do want to go around there to the water to uh, you know go sit out by the beach for a little bit. We'll take the camera so you guys can see a little bit of that, and uh, we hope to have a uh, just a really enjoyable, fun camp here at Big Lagoon State Park. fortunate to live in a city that has one of the biggest and the best seafood markets on the northern Gulf Coast, Joe Patty's. We're going to go in and get some fresh seafood for this weekend's camp. Yay! <laughs> So I think we're going to get some red snapper today for the grill. I'll just get a, a whole snapper and I'll just probably get them to dress it. Uh, lay bone and skin on for the grill. So you could come down here and get pretty much any kind of seafood you want. So shrimp, fish, oysters, clams, they have uh, crab here that's already steamed. You can get fresh shrimp and they will steam them for you before you leave there. So they have a really good selection of just about any kind of seafood that you can imagine. As you look down all these coolers right here, it's pretty incredible their selections that they offer. Look down here. These are some of the trimmings off of the red snapper. You got frog legs. Octopus, squid, 
You got dressed blue guy. Oh, yeah. Dry meat. Uh, oysters. You name it. They got it here. They even have lobster. <laughs> Five men like it. All of the different kind of spices and hot sauces that you would ever want is all right there. I always use my swamp fire. That's the best seafood bowl right there. I love it. We got the uh, pit barrel cooking, smoking. Should be coming up to a good smoke temp for it. Getting ready to put our crab legs on there. So we've got this uh, got this pack of crab legs that we got from Joe Patty Seafood earlier. Some good looking crab legs with some claws in there. So what we're gonna do, we've got this uh, Old Bay seasoning here. I've got one stick of butter that we're melting. 
in the pot there and it will mix just a little bit of this Old Bay in there and we're going to use our brush and we'll actually brush the, uh, the crab legs in the pit barrel <clears throat> as they're smoking. I do use the grate, you can see there. Just lay them on there flat and just uh, brush them a few times with the uh, butter. And it's surprising that the butter, it works its way in there to the meat and the spices, but also whenever you're eating the crab, you're handling everything and the spices and the butter kind of transfer to your fingers, which transfers to the meat. So it all kind of like comes together there as you're eating it. It turns out really, really good. So I'm getting ready to set those on the pit barrel and uh, get these guys cooking. We'll, we'll show you what they look like as they're uh, smoking here. Since it's so hot out, I'm setting up the table, but I just wanted to show this was not something that we had in the camper before and we wanted to get some. So we weren't sure which one was going to be good. So we got one of each and then we got the little forks for the crab. I think that's going to make things a lot easier. Let's go ahead and uh, base some butter on the crab legs. Yes, They've been please. on there for five minutes. Ooh. We'll do this about three times or so, maybe three or four times. So we got some butter with some Old Bay right there. Just baste that all over the crab legs. It's good. And then it's going to help add a little bit of extra smokiness down there into the fire as well. I'm going to tell you, my mouth is watering. This is really good. It really is good. And until you try it yourself, you don't realize how good it is. Yes. Because the naysayers would be like, you're just putting butter on the, the shell. I absolutely love crab legs, but this has ruined me. Abby loves these. Yeah. So, so this is only five minutes. So you can feel that heat coming up there. So I was using kind of a medium hot fire. Not a, This is not really a low and slow. It only takes about 20 minutes. All right. So we'll put the lid on, let her go about another five minutes, and then we'll, um, we'll baste it a couple more times there. They usually only take about 20 minutes. All you want to do is just uh, get them to a good hot temperature because they're already pre-cooked. So you're just kind of smoking them a little bit, get them hot, get a little bit of that smoke in there. I used one piece of apple wood in there, by the way. And buttery. And then so you get this butter and the seasoning that drips down in there. It just adds to the flavor that gets up inside the meat there, inside the shell. And it's delicious. <laughs> yes yes i'm sorry that's terrible no we've got our crab legs we're getting ready to dive in we've got some melted butter for both of us we didn't make anything else to go with it today we decided i've stripped my earring off just, just we decided just to go crab legs straight so up crab legs we're gonna stuff our faces i asked abby <laughs> i said did you get the the uh the red potatoes the grocery i did store? not she I forgot to get the red potatoes. I certainly did not. I got we, everything else, I we, think. We were going to steam some red <laughs> potatoes to go with it, but she didn't get them. So, you know what? We're just going to have crab legs. And uh, after that, we're probably going to watch some TV and eat a Pop-Tart later, right? The Braves are on. Watch the Braves, eat a Pop-Tart. Perfect night. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so there's our crab legs. We're going to chow down, and um, we'll see you on the next meal. How about that? Look at that right there. Yes. Dip it in that butter. Man, it's so good. So good. <laughs> so good. 
And then that's my favorite part right there. We're gonna bust that out here in a minute. <laughs> Last claw of the bunch right there. Look at that. Perfect. Dip that guy in a little bit of this butter right here. Oh man, look at that. That is the perfect bite. so good <laughs> <laughs> i'm sad that there's no more love. i know i know there's a little bit i got a little bit of a knuckle right there okay okay and a little bit right there mm. that's some good stuff right there pit barrel smoked crab legs Ugh. hard to beat them <laughs>